Hello, welcome to Easy Popups plugin tutorial for Unreal Engine 4. Easy Popups plugin is made to boost your efficiency when you are working with uh, popups and their input. For example, let's make a quick example uh, widget. I already pre made the, the button of the menu, which is Quit Game. Usually when the user presses on quit game, we want to ask him if he really sure that he wants to quit the game. So let's, uh, let's do it now with the easy pop-ups plugin. Uh, okay, so here we have the button on click. On this button click, we want to show our pop-up uh, that asks user if he really wants to quit the game. For instance, I have it pre-made, but don't worry, I will show it right in a bit. Uh, this is very straightforward, so it's called, uh, I called it pop-up widget. So now we are just going to add it to our viewport. Add some uh, bigger Z order, let's say 5, to be sure it is above our widgets that we are currently in. Okay, so... Now the pop-up is on the screen and the user should choose if he's sure or not. So we want to get the user input and we want to do it in the most efficient way. So let's type in the pop-ups. Now we, are, we can see all the three functions that comes with the plugin. And we have the wait for user input function. This is exactly the function we need. We will call it and we will add the input provider pin as our pop-up because he is the one who responsible to get the input. Now, as you can see, there is uh, three execution pins. The one is on user responded. Uh, so that, that means that our provider gave us a correct response and we can use it. There is an unaborted pin. It can be either called by user, I don't know, the cancel button you can wire there, or close button, or the pop-up somehow disappeared, I don't know, whatever, you can use the unaborted pin. And there is a waiting, uh, waiting execution pin, that means you can print text while you're waiting for user, you can count something, I don't know, you can use it for debugging. Now, the input, is an integer and the, initially I thought to use some enum and define button one, button two, etc. But then I realized that the plugin is not bound to UMG and pop-ups and it can be used with anything. Any U object can be provider and can be the one who requests for the input. So I just put it as integer. By receiving the input, you can just query it. So for instance, let's, uh, let's as assume that the input of zero in integer is when the user presses yes. That means he wants to exit the game. So I'll get the user response to there because uh, both, of, both of these values are not uh, going to return a valid input for obvious reasons, of course. If it's ab ab aborted, then there is no there is, there is a possibility there was no any input, and if it's waiting, then there is no yet input. So we are doing the execute uh, console command now, and uh, I remember correctly that it was a quit command. We'll get the player controller. Player. We will wire it to the console command, and that's it. Uh, by default, we assume that user picked some other options, whether no, cancel, or whatever will be defined in the pop-up. OK, so now let's uh, go to pop-up. Here is the widget. I already predefined it. It has uh, the are you sure you want to quit string, the two buttons, yes and no. And I believe I made the canvas or the widget itself to be visible to the input. That means that it will consume all the mouse clicks. 
but this is not necessary. It's about your game design. So let's wire up the functionality for the yes button. Uh, sorry for that. And let's wire up the functionality for the no button. Okay, here we go. So this pop-up widget, this is our input provider. So here he got the input from the player. What it should do, it should set the input. And we have the set user input here. So the yes button will execute this function. We will have to provide self here because we are the class that was registered for the input provider. Uh, the input is zero for yes button, as we said. You can use uh, whatever integer you want. And we will remove from parent the, the widget. So that's it. And for the now button, we will deliver the same thing. We'll call the set user input. We will call self as a provider. And we will put something other, other than zero. We'll let it be one. And also let's remove ourselves from the wig. From the viewport, I'm sorry. So. Uh, in the level blueprint, I just done. I just opened up the first widget, added to viewport, and set the input mode to UI only, and uh, we show mouse cursor set to true. So when we play, here is our quit game. We are pressing on it, and we have two options. We have either no or yes. As you can see, by this integer, you you can get as lot of response as you want. 200, 300 buttons, whatever you want. And this is how easy you can obtain it. So now, for example, for the debugging purposes, let's uh, call the print text by waiting. And we will write down waiting. Uh, actually, we better do a delay node in the middle because otherwise it will just spam us too much with the waiting message on the screen. So, as you can see, when we are summoning the, the pop up, we are waiting for its input. There was no input, we are not waiting. Okay. Now the most important uh, part of the tutorial. When we are in the input provider, never mind what input was, we always have to set the input because otherwise the, the class or object that is waiting for the input will wait forever in case the pop-up is dead and no input was set. So keep that in mind. Uh, we also have the sort function here, which is remove all associated actions. In case that you are dubbed and something happened to the pop-up or the otherwise to the parent object, you can just call this uh, function. It will take either a, a input provider or a base class that called it. It's never. It's not matter. But one of them, not something else, can call it. And it will just clean up this function, this function from there. So we will not going to wait forever for the input. Uh, as I said earlier, we can use it not only for UMG widgets. It can be used for whatever you want, for gameplay dialogues. I don't know if you want to talk to NPC and you want to make something quick without uh, too much strings you can use it as well you can use it for whatever you want else whatever is uh, waiting for input and even more than it you can uh, extend it to to events of the system or whatever that's it for this tutorial
please like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you want more cool plugins, let us know in the comment section below. You can find the plugin in the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Thank you for watching.